Creating a database in a hosting environment is typically done using the databases tool, particular to a specific type of database offered by the hosting company. In this video, I will demonstrate the creation of a MySQL database. To begin, log in to your hosting environment and look for the MySQL database tool. Keep in mind that if your host provider does not use the cPanel, your interface may look different. Click the tool and wait for the database management screen to load. Typically, the first tool in the management area is the database creation tool. Type the name of the database you wish to create. In this example, I will create a database named Guitar1. It is critical to note that the host provider will prepend to the name that I type a name followed by an underscore that identifies this database with the hosting account of the owner. Once you have typed the name and clicked the Create Database button, a confirmation screen should appear showing the name of the new database and an indication that it has been successfully created. Click the Go Back button when done. To use the database in a web environment, there must be designated or proxy users assigned to the database. These are not actual people. Rather, they are proxies used by your PHP or other scripts to act in behalf of site visitors. Assuming that you have not already created proxy users, I will demonstrate that process. Scroll down until you find the Add New User tool. Type the name of the new user. As with the database name, you will find that your users have a name related to your hosting account prepended to the proxy user and the two are separated by an underscore. In this example, I will create a user named iClient. You will create a password for the user at the time of creation. You can create your own password or use the password generator. In either case, it is imperative that you save the password and the user that it is used with so you can refer to it later. When done, click the Create User button. The confirmation screen will show you the complete username and the password. This is the last time you will see the password as readable text. When done, click the Go Back button. The final step in the database creation process is to now assign the proxy user to the database. In the management screen, scroll to the Add User to Database tool. Use the User drop-down menu to select your user. I will use the iClient user and then select the database. In this example, I will use the Guitar1 database. Click Add. The screen that appears allows you to assign privileges or rights for this user with regards to the database. In short, this is what the user can do with the database. Typically, if the user is not an administrator, the only rights should be Select, Insert, and Update. In this special situation, I am also giving the user Delete rights. All four of these rights are limited to data, not to the structure of the database or its tables. Click the respective checkboxes for the four privileges mentioned then click Make Changes. A confirmation screen should appear when things are finished. At this point, you can return to your control panel and you are finished with the database creation process. Next, you will need to create tables for the data, but that is done using the PHP MyAdmin tool or using other tools.